Mac Pro had a little brother, that would be it. Let's take a look. So when I saw the Mac Pro case, I really liked it. I liked the way it looked. I, For me, I personally liked the way the case appeared with the holes and all that. That's for some people, it wasn't their style. Uh, but that price, uh, no, I did not want that price. Now, I'm not much of a Mac user. I don't, I don't own Macs. Uh, fa family of mine do own Mac and they really do like it. But I wasn't one to really uh, dive or delve into uh, the Mac ecosystem or the Apple ecosystem. I did have an iPhone for many years, but even that, as far as price was concerned, I ended up switching just because it did not—it was not worth it for me to spend that much money on a phone. Uh, I now have a OnePlus, and that made a lot more sense to me because you got a lot of goodies for for the price. So uh, even at the new OnePlus 8 Pro, the price on that is still less than you would get for an iPhone uh, with similar specs. And I know there's an ecosystem and all that. Anyhow, the point is that I do like uh, the aesthetics of Apple. I've always liked the aesthetics of Apple, the way they make things look. Uh, the commercials, you know, always very appealing too. So when I saw the Mac Pro, I thought it was really cool. And then I saw this case and I thought, if the Mac Pro had a little brother, this is what it would look like. Hence the case. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I've been using a Velka 5 to travel with and in it I have the Asus X570 board 3900X and I have 32 gigs of RAM. The problem I was having was was that it got too hot and so what I ended up doing was uh, transplanting it to different computers. I actually started off with the Novolo Stack, and then I went to the Velka and then I thought you know what I'm probably gonna need something a little bit bigger and I found this here. And this is about the size of uh, Dan uh, A4. It's about eight liters or so, excluding, of course, these little pieces on top. But it's about eight to nine liters. I bought it on Amazon. And then while doing more research on this case, I found that AliExpress has a very similar case to this one. It's almost identical on the inside. The only difference really what they changed was the top of the case, as you can see in these images here, that basically made it look like a Mac Pro. And in the back also looks like it, but the side, the profile, uh, is just uh, acrylic, which I'm considering maybe getting glass on there, but maybe not just because I, I slide it back in and out of the backpack whenever I'm traveling. And if it scuffs or scratches, I'm okay with the acrylic. So I thought this is definitely the little brother to the Mac Pro if ever there was one, because I have not seen any other one of yet. If you have seen one, let me know, uh, link it in the comments down below. And so the whole reason for buying this case was so that I can, transplant everything that I have into this case here and the reason for that is because of the thermals now I had no I have no intention of switching to Mac but I do like their appearance and this one's pretty cool uh, the temperatures are so much better I'm um, back to the Black Ridge cooler as opposed to the Ace Tech all-in-one all uh, water cooler and I'm able to put a one 92 millimeter knock to a fan on the inside and then a 120 millimeter knock to a fan on the outside of the uh, cooler and then everything else pretty much the same. Now, it was actually pretty easy to build into. Uh, I had no issues there. The, on, the only uh, difficulty I had, which wasn't necessarily for the build itself with the motherboard and the cable managing, it wasn't any of that. It was actually more to do with the fans at the top. Uh, this case was supposed to come with fans at the top, but they didn't arrive with any, and I did contact customer support to make sure I got them, and they did send them. Um, so this case normally does come with two fans at the top, two RGB fans at the top, and it also comes with the GPU riser cable, and it didn't come with that either, but they, again, they did send both of those things, and I just ended up using the ones that I have anyway, just because, well, I mean, it, I already had it, so not a big deal, I just used the one I had. Temperature-wise, so on my Velka, I was always heating up, it was always getting to 80 degrees, 85, 90 degrees, I just couldn't do anything about it, it would just get really hot while I was video editing, when I was gaming, it'd get to like 75C on the CPU, and the GPU was about 75 too. The it's the GTX 2060 KO Ultra. That's always at 75 though, so no big deal, big deal there. But since putting it in here, 
it usually doesn't go past 55 now 55c with the cpu and i actually instead of under bolting like crazy i have it at 1.28 volts now and i actually have it slightly overclocked on all cores one core at 4.4 4.5 at the temperatures again 55 to 58 as you can see uh, here while i'm playing some games as well now when i do render videos it does go back up to about 75 or so but it has not gone past that so i've been very happy with that as well whereas before again if you've seen any of my other videos it was going 75 80 85 90 degrees it was getting super hot so that was definitely not going to work it just was not ideal so in comes this case and this one fits in my backpack which is phenomenal with another thing that i really appreciate that i can put it in my backpack along with the rest of my belongings and er everything is set to go basically again that's what the mac pro looks like it's got this bar here and then of course the top the the top isn't well i've seen some cases where the top is like this but more uh, so then you have the side or click panel and as you can see here power supply ssd of course the 120 mil fan right here and then you also have the Blackridge cooler behind it. And then behind that is the 92 millimeter AI, uh, 92 millimeter fan. And then of course the 2060 on the other side. I do have one fan right here. And the reason I only have one fan at this moment and not two fans is because I didn't, I did not bring a splitter. So I couldn't put both fans in, but the fan that's in there is an NZXT fan. And I gotta tell you, I really like these NZXT fans. They really do blow a really good amount of air. So really happy with that. But anyway, I'll put two fans in there eventually. Uh, it does also fit another 92 millimeter underneath here. And then you have this space that's down here that honestly, if you really wanted to, you can fit uh, some more slim fans here. Really, really happy with this case. I just wanna be able to put all of my stuff into the smallest case possible. And the Velka, it fit, but it got too high. So this is the next best thing that I saw at $130 at the time. The case made sense to me because it was a lot cheaper than on the other ones. You're trying to buy 230, 240, 250 dollars for other cases of similar size, and I figured I'd go with this one because just because I'm looking for something that fits, I don't want to have to pay a premium just for that if the other ones are going to work. Either way, this cost me 130, and one similar to it on Alibaba is actually like 90 dollars. So if you're looking for something like this, I'll make sure to link, link that down below. It's not specific. It's not this one specifically, but it's one very similar. So I would imagine that thermals are going to be very similar and it's going to be cheaper than getting the Dan A4. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? So this specific uh, case comes with uh, two USB 3.0 ports at the top, the power buttons at the top. The airflow, that pattern from the Mac Pro is only at the top. The two sides are acrylic with uh, mount with basically just holes basically the same size as what's at the top and then at the bottom it's the same idea with the holes um, except it's just one set of holes there at the bottom and then the back as well so really nice i do wish that they put holes in the front too i think that would have been really awesome they probably didn't just so that they wouldn't get in trouble but i don't know that would have been pretty awesome if they did but they didn't so there we are so the fan noise so I, I usually have the fans up at about 50 percent almost all the time anyway i'm just that person that always has the fans up a little bit higher i wear headphones the majority of the time so it doesn't really bother me and the fan noise doesn't bother me in general uh so i mean i sleep with fan noise i sleep with some type of white noise anyway so i don't know why the whole deal with wanting the most quiet pc ever i never really understood that a little bit of fan noise never bothered me at all if 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 any even when it's super quiet the noise never bothered me so i'm not really sure what the deal is with people and wanted to have a really quiet uh, computer because it just didn't make sense to me. The fan noise has never been an issue. So let me know if you're that person that doesn't really care about fan noise. Maybe you're one of those that doesn't see why there's a big deal with fan noise. And also, if you're that person that wants it super, super quiet, why? What's the point? I, I, don't, I don't really get it. I know people talk about it while it's really quiet, but but why? I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Let me know, please. Whew. Take a look at this. That is ridiculous. Holy smokes. So $7,400 for a 12 core processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, Radeon Pro 580X with an that's eight gigabytes DDR5, one terabyte of storage, standing still frame with feet, Magic Mouse 2, Magic Keyboard, and accessory kit. 
for $7,400. In this PC, I have a 3900 at 32GB of 3600MHz of RAM. This doesn't even say what the RAM is, it just says 32GB of DDR4. I have uh, the Corsair, of course the power supply, 600 watts, and then I have a 240GB uh, SSD 2.5 inch. Again, two 512 NVMe drive. Of course, the case itself, I have an RTX 2060 KO. It's all in this tiny package for a whole lot less than $7,399. So, if the Mac Pro had a little brother, this would be it, no doubt. Uh, did you like this case? Let me know what you think about it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my Velka now. Uh, maybe you can give me some ideas. What should I do with my Velka? What should I put in it? I had the 3700X in it before, but we'll see. That worked just fine, but I don't use the 3700X as much anymore. I use them more for benchmarks and just kind of putting and trying different uh, cases. That's usually what I use it for now, but anyhow, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment on the video and hit that notification bell. We are going to have another giveaway, like I said, and I keep saying Microsoft Xbox Game Pass for PC at 1,000 subscribers. So make sure, again, to hit that notification bell, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.